So today we're going to talk about LSMtron. We talked about the history of LS, but we've not talked about the company of LSMtron, which is the part that makes tractors. We're going to get into some details on that real quick. Stick with me. So where do I start today? Well, you know, I kind of struggled with this one a little bit because we talked about the history, of the, a brief history of LS in general. Go back and there's a video on that. Take a look at that video and you'll see some, you know, some minor details, but most of it, most of it's very basic about where LS came from. Well, then I got digging a little bit deeper into LS Mtron because uh, I wanted to know a little bit more about the LS Mtron group. And so I was, here I am trying to figure out where do I start with this? So I decided I would start in probably one of the most basic areas, the logo. So have you ever thought about the logo and why they choose logos the way they do? So seriously, think about the logos that are on your, on your tractor. No matter what brand it is, there is a logo. And yes, it's the branding. But sometimes these logos have meanings. A lot of times we as the consumer may not know what the meanings of those logos are. So that's why I started there. So a lot of companies has what's called a CI. And, and basically what that is, it's, a, it's a, a company identity, okay? And so whenever you look at a logo on something, the, the logo itself tells you a little bit about the brand. But a lot of times, in the corporate world, they a lot of time maybe the employees know or the corporate knows what some of the logo means. But us as consumers may not have the same grasp of the logo. So I decided to start here. So looking at the LS logo itself, I looked this all up and this is all on their website. So this is nothing that you can't look up for yourself, but I found it interesting to take a look at some of this stuff. So when you look at LS and you see the L that stands for leading, the S stands for solution, then there's this little arrow at the top. What does that arrow mean? So the arrow is representing a moving forward, basically is what it's standing for. Leading solutions, moving forward. And I would say more you know, into the future of, of their business. Now, there's a little more to it than that. And I encourage you, if you really want to know a lot more about that, go to the go to their LS website and you can look under the CI portion of the website and you can find a lot of this information. Mtron, which is LS Mtron is the company that builds the tractors. The Mtron was, is, is, a, is a combination of two words. Uh, one is machinery and the other is electronics. I kind of look at LS and whenever you look at the logo, you're looking at a logo that says leading solutions moving forward into machinery and electronics. And that's, that's, there's, like I said, there's more to it than that. And I don't normally get into all the nitty gritty details of a lot of this type of stuff. This stuff is in, in their corporate. And uh, I think if it, it would do LS a lot of good if they let some of their consumers know what their vision is. Now, here's the thing. There's, there's actually more to it than that. They use, a lot of these CIs, they use, uh, you know, colors and curvatures and some of this stuff is way beyond my my understanding or knowledge of, of, of what they're doing here but in in the case of the ls supposedly and i've got notes here that say that the the curvatures uh that just means things as, as like their soft curves and their letters represents represented of the ls logo itself is that they're doing their best to achieve their highest customer satisfaction. Now, look, I hope that's true because I know there's some of you out there that have complained about things about LS and especially their customer service. Now, I've had good luck with this. I have, and uh, as of so far, but I also haven't had any problems with my tractor in any way, but I do know someone that owns three LS tractors and they're not having any problems with their service. There's some question though, possibly some question if LS is providing the service to the dealer they should be. So, so I find some of this kind of interesting because it seems as if their focus, at least with their logo, if they're gonna 
stand by their logo and stand by what they're saying. LS is, is a leading solution looking forward into the future. So I hope I haven't bored you too much uh, with the logo stuff. But listen, it, it was kind of interesting. I thought it was interesting because I really believe firmly that a, a company cannot survive without customers. And, and customers will not buy a product from a company that does not stand behind the customer itself. That company will fail. And there will be no doubt about it. There's companies all over the world that fail because they feel like they don't have to take care of the customer. All they do is have to sell something. And after the sale is probably one of the most important pieces of any company, taking care of that customer after the sale. Parts, labor, the, the quality of the, the tractors, all, the, all that kind of stuff is extremely important because if something doesn't last, you, the customer's not taken care of, they'll never buy it again. Now, now some of you are probably going, man, he seems like he's running LS down today. Now, look, I haven't had any problems with my tractor. It's a great tractor. I've actually enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a good tractor. I'm not running LS down. This is going to apply to any company that does not take care of their customers. And I'm not saying at this moment that LS is not taking care of their customers. Although there has been a few that have commented on my channel and have commented in other places that LS did not take care of them. And I, I, I you know, I, I can only tell you what I've seen or read. I wasn't there to see what the, all the details were, all the gory details. I can't tell you if these tractors were abused or used in ways that they should not be used. I just don't know. Okay. But if, but if, but I wanted to, to, to bring this out today to, to kind of give you an idea of who the LS group is. Now, we were going to talk today about LS Mtron. And why are we going to talk about it? First off, we talked about LS in the, another video, as we said, and we kind of give some details of, or the, we gave some ba very basic uh, information about LS history. Today, we are talking about LS Mtron it's just the machinery company. And I wanna go over some of the things that LS Mtron does. So stick with me on this one now, because I found it pretty interesting. Uh, this is research I actually did not do when I was looking for the tractor. I did a lot more research on who LS was and, and before I bought the tractor to make sure they were a steady, uh, stable company that could hopefully take care of me if I buy this tractor. So here we go. I'm not gonna remember everything. And so I'm gonna to have to use a few notes um, again, like I told you before, I actually did not do all this research um, before I bought the LS tractor. It hasn't changed my mind any at all. Matter of fact, it's actually made me feel a little bit better about buying the LS tractor. Um, but let me go through who LS Mtron is. We're going to talk about LS Mtron as an e injection molding uh, machinery company. They build the machines for injection molding. That is a large part of their business, and I, I think it's well worthy of mentioning because it, it, that means that they sell the, they sell the um, injection molders to several different places within the United States and many other countries. Now, those injection molders are used for things such as in our medical field, our electronic field, uh, where we, they, you know, they make the, the electronic pieces, that the plastics that go on a lot of our electronics. Um, they make automotive parts and automotive pieces. And then uh, they also make like containers and other things such as that. Uh, and I'm talking about like storage containers, the bottles that things are, that things come in, uh, things like that. And that's who, uh, that's part of their injection molding uh, process. That's what their, that's what their machines uh, make. And so it's kind of interesting to see that the end part of, as being part of the machinery kind of part of their business, that is uh, some of the items or one of the items they make. So another part of LS Mtron is their electronic components. They, they make these little connectors and, and so forth that go in our smartwatches and your cell phone or your smartphone um, and, and in displays and other things such as that. They make the antennas for the cell phones. Now, I, I don't know where all of these components are. It's way above my pay grade. I don't know any of this stuff. So these are little, little small connectors and little small components, but LS is a, it makes these type of connections in the electronic components. 
So another part of LS Mtron is track shoes. No, not the type of track shoes that you run in, but the track shoes that go on military equipment, uh, such as tanks, uh, personnel carriers, and like. LS has been making these now for, oh, quite some time. I think it's somewhere around 50 years they've been building these track shoes for, mostly for, the, uh, for South Korea, for, their, for the army in South Korea. They do sell these to, to other places, but uh, that was where they got their big start, I guess. And they started, they started building all these tracks and, and so forth for the military equipment. Now, I think it's worthy of noting here so that we don't get this mixed up or, or no one gets this mixed up. They're South Korea and North Korea. South Korea is where LSM Tron is. South Korea has been uh, an ally to the United States for 70 years. Finally, we get into LS Mtron and the tractor business. Um, LS and the LS group, the LG group, we talked about in our other video with all uh, the history of how long they've been building tractors, farm tractors. It's been a long time, okay? You go back and take a look. Now, LS became LS in the United States in a 2009, and that's when the LS brand started here in the United States. So they haven't been around in the United States for an extremely long time, about 15 years. But it is worthy of now noting that they have a 15 years under their own brand. Now we talked in our basic history of LS, we talked about the different, manuf the different tractors and the different manufacturers that LS has worked for and built tractors for. Uh, I think sometimes we miss that this goes on all over the place. This is not uh, something that's new. Components and, and, and things are built by different companies and bought by companies to use in their equipment. Uh, and I, I, I see that all the time myself uh, when I tear into something. You find that, you know, keep in mind, you know, for example, your tractor may have a Bosch injection system on it. And so you're, you, you, when you buy parts for it, you are not going to buy a, a Ford uh, parts. You're buying Bosch parts for that Bosch injector. Well, LS has is is decided to put their own name on their own tractors and build their own tractor brand and build that brand up. Now they still are making tractors for other places, such as they make the smaller line of New Holland. We talk about that again in our previous video. But I don't know exactly what tractors they build for New Holland. And it doesn't really matter. I kind of look at it from a standpoint, if New Holland, which may have their own specs of this is you build my tractor this way, still trust LS to build their tractors because their reputation's on the line. And, and that means something, it does. Um, it's kind of like back when John Deere had Yanmar building their tractors. John Deere's reputation is on the line and Yanmar needed to build a good tractor for him and they did. So as I continue to do some of my research on on the LS brand and, and you kind of wonder why, well at first I had some buyer's remorse. I, I You know let's admit it anything you buy sometimes especially when you pay a lot of money for it you may have a little buyer's remorse. I've had it with cars. I mean, it may have been the best car I ever bought, but yet there's this little bit of buyer's remorse because you're just hoping that you spent that money on something that's good. And, and that, you know, you kind of, you kind of get a little bit of buyer's remorse from that. Now, as far as my LS tractor goes, mine has been fine. I haven't had any issues with it. I do know someone with the MT-573 that are having issues with their tractor. It's, and, and it's at the dealership right now, hopefully being fixed. Um, and, and whatever those problems are, I hope get resolved soon. I do plan on trying to bring that forward on this channel at some point. I want to uh, tell you about those problems. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not biased toward LS. I think we need to, to, to let this information out to the consumer so that if I made a mistake in buying LS, 
you won't make the same mistake. There's nothing wrong with that. But if I have a good tractor and my LS runs really well, then there's nothing wrong with that either. And there's no reason to, to for me to run out and, and bash LS based upon uh, one person's experience out of maybe hundreds or thousands. But if it's the other way around, then it needs to be known. And, and LS needs to step up to the plate and fix these, the, these tractors. Why am I in a rant on this? Because I want to make sure that you, you know, watching me here sitting there telling you to buy an LS, I'm not. Um, and thinking that I'm here to promote LS, I'm, I'm not. I, I don't have any affiliation with LS other than owning one of their tractors. So with all of that said, let's talk about LS for the LS Mtron tractor business for just a moment. LS Mtron has made different uh, different names or different numbers on their tractors for years. I, I don't know all the numbers. I think there's an XU or XR or something like that. I only know the ones that are out right now, and that's their MT series. But it, there's leaps and bounds that I have seen that LS is trying to make um, in their tractor business. One of those being they've, they've upgraded. You know, keep in mind that LS Mtron, the LS tractor, is made for the smaller farmer. The small guy with 10 to 100 acres maybe. Okay, that's who LS is making tractors for. They're not making tractors for the large scale farmer that's plowing up hundreds of thousands or thousands of acres, hundreds of acres or thousands of acres. That's not the tractors they're making. They're not making this huge, uh, huge machinery like Case does or maybe like John Deere does. Um, even, even Kubota's not into the super large scale stuff yet, but they're staying more into the more compact utility line. Uh, LS has um, different models. Uh, their MT series starts at MT1, okay? Uh, then they have an MT2, an MT3, an MT4, an MT5, and an MT7. Those are all different frame sizes in a different lines. All these, all these MTs have, all these different uh, tractors have different horsepowers, uh, cab options, and so forth. So LS Tractor has now taken and trying to expand their line uh, up to the MT7 line, which is 101 horsepower, still a utility tractor. So I, I don't have need for a, a row crop tractor. I have a lot of need for a utility tractor. And so that's what I bought. And that's what, that's LS, that's who LS is. They're more subcompact, compact, and utility style tractors. They are not row crop tractors, okay? They're just not. Um, someday down the road, I might buy a compact. Subcompact's a little bit too small for me. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. And the jury is still out on the LS. I don't have quite 100 hours, but I'm really close. And so when we get 100 hours on it, we're going to do a review on it. So until next time, thanks.